Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods Gravitas. Now you might notice that it's a little darker than it normally is. We've got a new texture, no, what's it, what's it called? Shader. New shader pack. So, uh, if I go to this one, there you go. Makeup ultra fast. So this is, it just looks really nice in my opinion. I really like this new texture pack. Looks, looks decent. Obviously we really liked the, um, the old one as well, but it is new, so we're, we're trying out the new stuff. Uh, that's not at all what I meant to do, damn it. Oh, you know what, it's fine. Um, also, we've updated. I actually updated it myself, and I feel really proud of myself for doing that, because I haven't done an update in a while, so I've forgotten how to do everything. I normally get T to do everything for me, if I'm honest, so... Uh, anyway, I managed to update it this time. Oh, flipping egg. Chuck these away. What I'm going to do is, um, I'm actually just going to, all of this, what, how, what, how do you say this, hematite, all of this hematite, what we're going to do is we're going to use the new thing, channels, which is this. This does stack, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah, boy. So we're going to do that, 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 and that, and you're in the way, so sorry, you're going to, you're going to have to move. That's fine. Okay, and then stick that away as well. So, what you do with this, I think I can place them here. Yeah, there we go. And where's my fire clay molds? One, two, three. One, two, three. There you go. And now, uh, it won't actually work right now because obviously we can't cast this, this iron out. But plan is, uh, I'm going to put some more of these in. When this gets up to heat, I'll do the bellows and then I'll right click this. And it will basically pour the uh, the iron that we've got into the molds. And then we can shift, right click the molds. And the molds will never die, basically. And uh, that would be so good. I might, at, at, like, I'm at the point now where I'm like, do I just make, like, as many of these as I can? I might make an extra one anyway, just purely because. Oh, but then I'm out of. Matter the the channels at that point. Can I tell you what? Let's try this. I wonder if I can do one, two, three like that. And then do these just connect up? Oh, they do. You know. Okay, I want one more of these. Okay, we'll come back to that in a sec. That was really close. <laughs> so uh, over here, I've got some more fire clay. One, two, three, four, five. And the way you do it is you nap this together and then you get yourself a mold. And I just remembered that we are going to have to... I want four because four is like a really nice number in Minecraft, isn't it? Most things are divisible by two or four, so stick one of these in. This will heat all the way up and then we'll get a new one. I'll stick it on the end. Oh, and I do need... Did I not get my fire? I didn't get my fire clay things back, did I? Okay, let's try it without the fire clay. And uh, in fact, I'll, I'll try it with these two. That might be a bug. We've instantly found a bug. If we break it, yeah, it does get rid of the mold. <laughs> okay, that's fine. We just won't break it then. Easy. So, bellows all of this in. So this is the plan. I'm just going to chuck these down, stick this one on the end. Uh, is this all the way up? The, yes, it's all hot right now. So these are all filling up. Obviously it then just wasn't hot enough, but you can see they're all filling up lovely jubbly. Look at that. Yes. It does take quite a while to be fair, but it is fine because when it's finished filling all of these up, we're all good. And I wonder... Okay, you just right click. So you can see them, they, they, they pop out like that. And because all of these were like in there at the same time, they stack as well. So if we can get an aqueduct, I think there's some water over in this direction. And I'm thinking about getting an aqueduct to come all the way over here. And get an aqueduct over here, we can have our own little setup. But for now, we've got this snow block we can just drop these on but before I do that 
what you do is you just right click on that bit there. Oh, I forgot about this. Just keep filling this up. Now, I just, um, I had a load of uh, cast iron in here already. So this was all cast iron. Uh, sorry, this was all cast iron. I just pulled them out. They're right here. And like this, like this. No, that's not it. <laughs> okay, we need to keep keep pumping this. But I did that, and I was there, like, trying to pull, them, pull more of it out, and it wouldn't let me. So when this cools down, it won't let you pull out even more, basically. So it's just, just really, really useful. Super, super useful. And I need to just remember to keep putting more of this in. We're going to get an absolute butt-ton of iron, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, even these ones. One, two, three, four. We lob these on top. Nope. Oh, yeah, you're not allowed to do that. All right, let's try that. And over time, that's going to destroy all of the stuff there, which is fine. Because now we've got just cast iron. Perfect. This is my my cheap way of doing it because I don't have uh, I don't have aqueducts and everything over here. So, okay, this is because I'm really impatient and uh, I decided why not make eight bars at a time? Because I just remembered why you don't do that. I mean, what we can do is we just ah ah. This is the thing. You can pull out the uh, the molds as you go. Good, good to know. Yes. So what we'll do, is, in fact, what we can do is if we've got one left, we just break this like that. And then it will only go into this one because it will auto distribute. So that is something that the uh, the channels thing does. So if we do this, for example, I know I've got over eight in there, so I can just do this. Oh, here's the vortex. The vortex did say that they didn't get the muffler mod in on time, unfortunately. So... Uh, but that, that does sound like something that might happen, is uh, the muffler mod might get added, which is amazing, because, yes, uh, we do get deafened every time we go and, like, see our miner, for example. Oh, funny. Oh, funny, funny. Uh, when I uh, when I said about breaking this, I actually said it to, like, the people on the server. I was like, don't break your your mold tables with molds in there, because it will uh, it will cause you to lose the mold, if you don't want to lose the mold. For example, and Vortex commented just now saying, "Well, you can see it right here. Uh, that bug is fixed. I just missed it on the update for CurseForge. That's really funny. <laughs> we were literally just talking about that. That's that's really cool. Oh crap! I missed the damn it. Okie dokie. I was just in the water again. I seem to spend most of my time in this river just trying to kill fish so I can eat. Um, and uh, earlier, to be fair, earlier, Kay did say that that's a communal, like, cellar. You know, the cellar that's up here. Uh, over here, where we went, like, last episode. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quick... Spring water, no way. <laughs> that's really, really cool. That means we can get healed up. Ah, oh, it's really nice. Anyway. Is K online right now? I don't know. Anyway, oh yeah, he is. Hello. I'm I'm here to to nick food. Thank you. I'm here for the food. Uh, apples looks like. I'm just gonna grab a bunch of apples. Apparently, cheese is the only thing that is like really difficult to keep right now. But we got loads of cheese right there. Um, also, this update, this update added something. Oh, looks like Kay's going to do some digging over here. This update added... Uh, what was it? It was booze. I don't know. What, I can't remember what the mod's called. Wait, let me have a look. On uh, We've got a like, little thing on our Discord which shows us what, them, what updates have happened. If I can find it. Updates. Mod pack updates. That's the badger. So it says... Aged alcohol. Aged alcohol. So we got beer, cider, rum, sake, vodka, whiskey, corn whiskey, and then rye whiskey. There's no gin. Not that I drink, but I remember gin for some reason. 
Right, I fixed my create stuff because it was bothering me. I didn't fix it, I just put... It's, it's only being powered off of one right now, one water wheel, but... Super, super slow, and we need to fix that at some point. Uh, but I thought if we're going to convert these all into iron, like proper iron... You know what I was planning on doing? You know, actually, this is a good point. What I was actually planning on doing, and I forgot until just now... I, I, I don't know why I... <laughs> I'm so bad at planning sometimes, but what I was actually planning on doing is I was going to make this all into steel, wasn't I? And then we can use the steel, what's it called? The, the steel, uh, let's do steel plate. I know it uses the steel plate, but I can't remember the name of it. It's like a crate or something. Okay, let's try that. Crate. That's the badger. There we go. So, it'd be really cool if we can get some tungsten steel plates eventually, right? But, for now, we could do this one really easy. Ah, oh, it's a long steel rod. That might have changed. Okay, so this is turned into 8 steel per steel crate. Uh, or we can make some screws, but how many screws do you get? Okay, so it's like two iron, two iron to make, but that's 27, which is still not great, is it? Okay, well, I was going to make it all into this, so we'll leave it for now, but this is pretty cool. Are you, are you going to continue going, or? Bruh, it's been like 50, 50 minutes of the video already, near enough, right? And I still, <laughs> why do I do this? I still haven't actually uh, sort of done... Anything except for cast out a bunch of this flipping heck. Okay. Uh, wow. Ow. I might actually just. You know what? I've got a plan. My plan is. Oh yeah, I I moved this by the way. I moved the uh, the encased fan. So it was over here. We've got a bucket of water now, so we can move this. Perfect. Perfectly. We can move it anywhere, anywhere we fancy. And what am I talking about? What am I talking about? Because up here, I don't need aqueducts because I've got a bucket. What the actual heck am I doing? Ah, right, we need to make a little pool. We need a pool of, uh, of water. I'm going to put a pool right here, I think. Uh, that is purely because... I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll go empty my inventory in a sec. But yeah, we need a pool of water because... Uh, then we can lob in... The ingots after they they've been cast, right? In fact, I might swap this out a little bit. I might, uh, yes, because if this was here, okay. Let me do some rejiggering. That is uh, the official word for it. Let's put these apples away as well. Uh, put that on my back. There we go. Uh, let me do some rejiggering, and then once I've uh, rejiggered, we'll be back in a sec. Right, how does this look? There you go. So we put some stuff in here and then we cast it out. We just maybe stand on top of it and then cast it. And then when we pick it all up, we just lob it in the water over here. Now I was going to do a one by three right here. And then I extended it slightly because I vaguely remember I used to throw them in. And like if I throw it in, th let's pretend this is a one by three, right? If I throw it in this one here, uh, the water can actually be used up when you are cooling stuff down, from what I remember, like the, the water source. So you'd have to like get it directly in the middle if you were doing that. And obviously sometimes you're going to accidentally miss, and then it'll burn out one of them, and then you're not going to have water up here. So if you do a 2x2, two two, it's actually better, because if you throw one in, like if it goes over there, that's fine, because th when this one burns out, these two will fill it in. If it goes over like here, this one burns out, these two will fill it in and so on and so on. If you do a, a two by three, you combine both of them, so that it makes it makes it fine. Anyway, that's what I was thinking. We do like a little pool like that. Um, I'm going to move all of my black steel and everything as well. In fact, I can you punch it? Just do that. There we go. I'm going to move it all over here, I think. I'm just going to have all of my, my ingots right next to each other. Oh, have you noticed that they've got the same texture? Huh. 
Didn't realize. That, that's steel, by the way, and this is... Uh, what is this? This is black, weak, weak steel. Ah, it makes sense that they've got the same texture because they're both steel. <laughs> that makes sense. Love it. And then we've got loads of nickel because yeah, we've got loads of nickel. Right, um, I could probably get rid of these signs now. I'm just doing a bit of tidy, I suppose. Do some tidy up, and then... Uh, I need to dump a load of stuff. Dump a load of stuff off. We'll put, like, my, my saw back in here. Um, uh, we keep keep the alab... I tell you what, I'll take a fresh stack of alabaster with us. Should probably go and uh, put my cast iron over here as well for now. And we'll just... Uh, I'll, actually, I'll put all of my iron over here, and then eventually I'll get them all together. The, the problem I've got right now is I don't have much charcoal. I don't know where I put all of my charcoal. I've probably got, like, a big ton of it somewhere, but... I've got so many, like, storage solutions right now. <laughs> like, what, what's going on over here? I swear I had, like, a butt-ton of it somewhere. Oh, there's some gold there and some bronze. Interesting. Right, I should really go through this and get all of the ores out as well, but tell you what, I'm not going to bother. In fact, what I'll do is I'm going to lob everything away. Uh, actually, yeah, we can lob that away. We'll keep the, keep the shield on us. Everything else can go. Keep the crossbow. Did anyone see my arrow arrows? There we go. I don't know why I said it like that, but there we are. We've got some arrows as well. Still don't have a helmet, but I think that's fine. And I think we just uh, yeet ourselves into into the nether. And before we go, I'm going to put some water right by the nether portal. Because uh, you do use quite a bit of water whilst you're in the nether. That is a point. Can we take one of these barrels with us? Okay, I'm going to go do that. I'm going to grab a barrel from over here. Just an em empty barrel. And I'm thinking if we can... We fill it with water, and then... I don't think there's any way we can drink from this, though. That's the only thing, right? Nah, it doesn't doesn't really say... I mean, yeah, even with the bucket, we can't... Re okay, fine. We'll leave it. We shall leave it, although I do need to drink up. Which I can do with the bucket of water. Got myself right there. I know what I'm doing, sort of. Wow, it gets dark over here. Uh, the new shaders definitely make everything more dark, but I think that's okay. I think, like, Terra Firma Craft in itself tries to make things super, super dark. So I'm okay with it being dark. Flop these down over here, and then water can go there. You can barely see the water. I quite like that, because it's meant to be see-through, right? Okay, let's get a couple of apples on us, make sure we're all fed up and everything. And then we'll go on an explore in the nether, finally. Okay, one more apple. I know that's kind of a waste of saturation, but I think it's okay. Might even find... We might find some food whilst we're in here. I doubt it, but we might do. You never know. I don't know what to do about this. We should probably get ourselves a... Um, a silk touch at some point, and then we can get silk touched. So the other thing is, I'm going to try and find myself a warped forest as soon as I can. Oh my goodness. Right. This doesn't look like the way we should be going. I'm going to go the opposite direction. Yeah, I'm going to go this way, I think. Nice. Okay. And then all the zombified piglin out. There you go. There's a hoglin over there. Um, shroom lights would be kind of nice. I like the I, I like the idea of shroom lights. I'm so bad at parkour right now. There you go. And there's some glowstone over there. Don't, don't fall down. I kind of got the alabaster as like a, a building block, but I don't really want to use it now. Because <laughs> I quite like the look of it. Building block in the nether, I mean. Right, what do we need glowstone for? That is a question.
Illumination upgrades. I might actually do this. Genuinely might do that. Might make some illumination upgrades. Uh, okay, we can make ourselves a wireless block charger. That's pretty good, actually. I'm sure there's other stuff that we could probably use this for. Make a lantern. Thick potion. It's a bit rude. Um, okay, there's a load of stuff we need to... Oh, we need it. Is that how you do it? You use an assembler to make yourself a redstone lamp. You're kidding. What the heck? Oh, you get some gold out of it. Interesting. And then you get yourself some gold dust. Oh, pretty cool. Extractor. Spectral arrows. Interesting. Framed glowing block. Okay, not actually that much we can do with it. But I am forgetting that we do this? Oh, we can't actually even make it into glowstone. Yeah, we have to use a compressor. Oh, poo. Okay. Well, that's fine. I was going to say, this is like an infinite source of um, of light, and we don't have to light everything up all the time. But do you know what else is an infinite source of light? Shroom lights. Ah! Ah! Oh, poop. Ow. Ow, I'm gonna die. Genuinely gonna die in the nether again. Flipping out. Should have been. Okay, we're, we're cheesing it. Ah! Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> right, no fear right now. I'm just gonna go. Oh, I didn't break. I put the flipping blocks back down, didn't I? I'm gonna have to punch them. Punch the blocks out. Oh, you know what? I've actually got another... I've got my steel pickaxe, don't I? So I can go grab the steel pickaxe. Uh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take one of the crappier pickaxes that I've got. So, like, my my trusty old bronze one that we got from the beginning. So we're going to use this. We're going to mine it with this. And then we're going to go grab our stuff again. Can't believe I died, like, instantly. After spending so much time... Oh yeah, are the are the piglins afraid of zombified piglins? Hello. Don't be mad at me. Oh my goodness. You're kidding. Go on, sod off. Yeah, get wrecked. Oh, we got leather out of it as well. That's really useful. Not really worth it in my opinion. <laughs> that was brutal. I probably should have got my crossbow all like up and together, right? There you go. So it's all loaded now, so we can use that later. Ooh. It's a bit of protein right there. Sweet. Anyway, what I was trying to say is uh, the yeah, the glow shrooms are really good because it's just free light source in the end, isn't it? I should use these as like a little bit of a like lighting solution in uh, Gravitas 1. So well, we are 100% doing that again. A bunch of like the the shroom lights around. Let me just pick that up. Weeping vines, interesting. So apparently, you can use weeping vines to prevent cramming. So you know when you uh, I'm gonna grab all this wood as well because wood is awesome. Yeah, you know when you're like making a mob farm or something, you can use the vines for some reason, and it kind of stops cramming. It breaks the code or something. I don't know, but. I saw Missing Part use it in uh, Aeropolis. I was like, what the heck are you doing here? Why are you doing this? And he explained it to me. It was awesome. Uh oh, I'm being chased by Piglin now. Oh my goodness, go away. Okay. I'm not defeated. I swear I'm not defeated. Okay, yeah, we're not going we're not gonna leave. I was gonna leave then. Uh what Okay, I need to keep my eyes here. Uh, you know what? Let me just block it up. What do we do right now? Because we're kind of like on a little peninsula. No real good way of getting over this way. Uh, I might be able to, if I can go in that direction, which is this way. Oh, I was literally on the direction we were supposed to go. Go in this direction instead. Do you want to see something fun? Ah, 
okay, that was that was kind of scary still, but that was, I think, a lot funner <laughs> than the way that I was doing it before. Anyway, um, this looks like, so that's Nether Wastes. Nether Wastes is like a different biome, so we could go down there. Oh, how the heck do we get back up? That's the question. Oh, I knew that would be a thing. Damn it. Um, I need ladders. I need ladders, really. We kind of need to go somewhere. Wow, we need to find a nether fortress. It doesn't look like there's any up here, but we just need to keep going, I suppose, don't we? I suppose we could do this. And just, like, build across. That makes sense. I'm really bad at this nether exploration thing, aren't I? Um, yeah, okay, we'll just keep going across then. Right, I'm regrouping. Why are we in the nether? Why are we in the nether? The, the whole reason we're in the nether is because I think we need sulfur. I always forget how you spell it. Is it with an F? Oh, it is, yeah, okay. But you can get sulfur in the overworld. Why am I in the... I have no idea why I'm in the nether. You know what? We'll come back to the nether when I know why we're in the nether. Why was I in the nether in Gravitas 1? I cannot remember. I think it was so I could kill some ghasts. Because I needed ghast tears for... Oh! For blood magic. We don't need that anymore, do we? Right. Sod it. We're, we're just going to go in here. And we're going to go back to base. This is good though. we got some building material. got some netherrack. And what can we do with netherrack? Cinder flower. You get some lava out of it. That's pretty good. Um, netherrack dust. You got a five percent chance to get a golden nugget. Interesting. Um, oh yeah, smithing tape template. Uh, is that actually even used for anything? I don't know. Well, apparently it is, yeah. Now that's how you do all of the, the create stuff to make like the create backpack and stuff like that. <laughs> you have to use it to make Nakodar stuff from Stargate Journey. I love that. It's pretty funny. Okay, well, I don't think we're going to go find those anytime soon. Cool. All right. Uh, I'm definitely going to... Let me get back down. I'm definitely going to put one of these in over here. Because we're going to get loads of netherrack. Right, I think what we're going to do is if we come like that far out on each of these. There and one here as well. We're just going to put these down. The plan is, the plan is we are going to have a look at uh, Greg Tech. And we want to go through the whole steamer, steamer, this whole steam thing, right? So over there, it looks like we've got, have they changed it up again? All right, I'm going to do it just because I'm showing, I'm showing things off. It's fine, okay? It's fine that I'm showing things off. Okay, so what is this thing over here? What is zinc casing? And that's a windmill bearing. These are all glued together, I'm guessing. And then, okay, that's a rotational speed controller, gearbox is doing all of this. I'm guessing, right, uh, let's get inside. So right over here is where Okay, all of the steam is being pumped into these. And we've got this thing, which is the Railcraft steel tank full of steam. Makes sense. So if I pop downstairs, we can see this thing here is the thing that is creating the steam. How are you getting water? Okay, that makes sense. So you've got... Where? Where are you getting... Oh, there's a water wheel right there. I didn't even notice it. 
<laughs> so cool. So there's a water wheel and then that's going round. That's powering all of these. That's pumping water into this. That is also pumping what looks like water into here. So that's probably why that started to go down a bit. Okay, I like this idea. Right, we're going to probably nick that idea, if I'm honest. Why not? Uh, we're going to use the water to... Oh, and we can move water as well. So we don't have to do it like in the river. We could do it wherever we fancied. We could even do it right here if we wanted. I really want a rotational speed controller. Okay, maybe that's what we do now. We try and make ourselves a rotational speed controller before we get into Greg. We are actually going to call the episode here for today, I think. And we'll come back next time and try and make ourselves a rotational speed controller. I think that's a plan right there. So anyway, I'm going to call it here. So thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.